hello, hello. Good morning. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK for another Fun Friday Live. Good morning to you. I can't believe we're back at Friday again and what a week it's been. Very busy in our household. I have a couple more Christmas cards to show you today. Um, I think that will probably be the last of the Christmas cards I'm making um, during my lives this month because we are getting into, what day, date is it? The 9th of December. So these cards need to be in the post soon, don't they guys? Because we have a lot, we have a very early cutoff date for posting cards for Christmas this year. We have, in case you're not aware, we have um, postal strikes, Royal Mail postal strikes going on unfortunately this December. So we need to get our Christmas cards out and get them posted. So I think this might well be the last time that I do a Christmas card live this year. Let me just go into my other device and check that I'm live in the right place. Let's have a little look, which is going very strangely on my phone, which is what I'm using to check. Um, and then hopefully if I'm live, we will get to, I'll be able to see if anyone's joining me and also I can respond to any comments there might be. So let's just take the sound off. I don't think you want to hear me twice. Um, here we go. There we go. So I'll just wait a few minutes and see if anybody joins me live. And I'll pop that there. Anyway, good morning to you. I hope that this month is treating you well. Um, if you are going to watch me live welcome do let me know say hello leave a comment let me know you're there if you are watching me later on please say hello too and tell me where you're watching from i love to know where you're watching from hello chris hello different chris from iowa hi belinda how are you my lovely uh, how is it there with you it's been very very cold here uh, we had a really hard frost this morning. It wasn't as cold as yesterday. Yesterday it was minus three on the school run. Today it was just at freezing, um, but we still need to defrost the car. Uh, good morning, Joanna. Thank you for joining me today. As I said, we're just going to do um, a couple of Christmas cards, the last ones of the season that I'm going to make live. I did a little Instagram reel this morning um, because I decided it was time I actually wrote my Christmas cards and sent them out. So I gathered them all together thinking, oh, I'm never gonna have enough. And I have like 55 and they're just ones I've made during classes and live streams. So I did an Instagram reel showing all the Christmas cards that I've made. I couldn't believe how many I've made. Fair enough, there's a kit, a kit in there. So there's 12 cards made from a kit. But yeah, so I need to get mine in the post. But um, yeah, so I thought I would hop on and make a couple of extra and that should be it. And then we can move on to new things. Um, yeah, so I will turn the camera around and show you what we're going to be using. There I am. Let me move me out of the way. So I don't need that one on anymore. We are going to be using the Christmas Scotty. And the reason I picked this one up this morning is because I've already made this, these cards before, these two cards. Um, I just recently sent out my customer thank you gifts for the month and I included, I always include a customer thank you gift, a handmade card that I don't sign with a little poem inside so that they can send it on to somebody who might need cheering up or for a reason. And I sent them a Christmas card and it was just a fun little quick Christmas card I made using the Scotty. And it's such a great one to make a quick card with because it has a punch and we all have a punch because I love my dies, but it's very quick to use a punch. So we're gonna be doing that. And the other card that I made, I'm going to make with you today, is another really quick little one using the Scotty um, that I made as a design for my team meet up on Zoom this month. So I set, sent out a little pack to all my team members so they could make a Christmas card and we could all craft together live on Zoom. And that was so much fun. So I'm going to share that one with you too. I could see, see both here, look. Oh, wonders of technology. I'm hoping it's going to go well today because... It wasn't so great on my Tuesday coffee and cards. Um, yeah, sometimes it's a little bit glitchy, so let's go with it. And I'll show you what we're going to make. Now, I haven't got the finished cards because I sent them all out, but I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and we will crack on. So let's have a look. Now, I've already um, 
cuts and all my pieces ready. Now I am using the note cards and envelopes for this card. These come in a pack of 20, you can get them in white or very vanilla, and they come already cut and scored with the envelopes. So that's half your work done for you. <clears throat> it's nice to have a little card that you can just pop through the neighbour's door, or even if your children want to give them out at school, or you can just pop them in the post. Um, I shall be delivering, hand delivering all my neighbour's ones and things like that because of the post and the cost of the post. Okay, so I have already cut some bits up and I will show you. Sorry, I've got my very thick woolly jumper on in here today. Tell me what the weather is like with you. I'd like to know what's it like in Iowa. I have no idea, to be fair. So I have, I'll show you the bits. I've already got cut some pieces out. And I thought I'd make two at a time. I'd make two to start with. So I've got the white note card and envelope. And they come um, at five inches, these are in inches, by three and a half, okay? So then I've taken my, my designer series paper and chosen the layer colours from that. And this, this DSP is super pretty. I've used it tons this year. It's from our annual catalogue and it's called The Painted Christmas. And it's so very pretty. It's got all these really traditional colours in and all these lovely florals. Um, it's really, really, really super pretty. So I've taken some pieces from there and that is real red and I think garden green. So I've cut a layer for one of them, quarter of an inch smaller. So that is three and a quarter by four and three quarters and that fits on there. And I've just made my designer series paper quarter of an inch smaller again to fit. That makes it three by four and a half. So that's my layer. They are super useful, these note cards, aren't they, Joanna? I completely agree, especially if you want to whip up a card and it's all made. And then I've done exactly the same with this piece. This is from the same designer series paper stack pack, so you could do either side. In fact, this is from the same piece of paper, exactly the same. But I thought I would go with the red bells. I think they're bells on there. And so to contrast, my layers in garden green card. Okay, so those are the first, that's the first part of our two cards sorted out. Now I've got to remember this card off the top of my head. Okay, so I've got a little square of basic white cardstock and it is not a square, it's slightly rectangle. I can't remember how much it is. Oh, actually, I wrote it somewhere. I wrote it down so I don't have to keep measuring everything. Oh yeah, here it is. It is two and three quarters, no it's not, it's two and three eighths of an inch by two and five eighths of an inch and it's just slightly rectangular and it's going to fit this lovely stamp from the Scotty Dog stamp set. The Christmas Scotty stamp set is going to fit this one here. Okay, and we're going to stamp on that using the same colours as we have in the designer series paper. So we've got real red and garden green, okay. So I think I'm going to go first of all with my one with the bells on. And because that's very red, I am going to go green. So it was rainy, but it's in the low 40s with you in Iowa. That's cold, isn't it? Oh, you like the design series paper? I love it. It's one of my favourites. I've used it so much, which I was quite surprised about because we have so much, so many new goodies. Excuse me having a drink. This paper carried over from last year's catalogue, probably because it was so, so popular. Oh, I haven't used this, gar I don't know if I've ever used this garden green ink pad because I had to replace my old one. It got super, super, super old. I might have used it, I'm not sure. So I'm taking my stamp. I'm gonna ink it up really well. And as you can see, the stamp is oblong as well. And it's a tartan image, which goes with that Scotty theme. Make sure you've got it the right way up. And I just stamp into the middle. I could do with rolling my sleeves up. Now, I don't want to get my head in the shot, so it may not be completely straight. Let's roll my sleeves up a little bit. 
Here we go. And I'm going to press really, really hard on the um, stamp. And what you can do is you'll find that because you've got a small piece of card, if you pick it up, it'll come with it. And you can just press it on the back. Help that stamp impression. And then just peel it off. And you get this gorgeous little gingham or tartan image. Really love it in the green. Oop. Okay, I'll need to clean that before I use it. Okay, so we're going to pop that one. It's going to go on here. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, actually, I've already, for my other card, I've already stamped it in the red. I'm cheating. Okay, so I've got two going on there. And I am going to stamp the Scotty dog that matches the punch. So in the stamp set, you've got three dogs. And this guy here, who's very alert and standing to attention, he's the one the punch cuts, cuts out from. So I'm going to grab my Memento ink. Now, when I batch made a load of these cards to send off to my customers, I used my Samparatus. I should have got it out this morning, but I've been very lazy. To, to be honest, though, it's fantastic for this Scotty dog because the Memento ink pad can be a little bit patchy on a photopolymer stamp, I think. And it's quite a big surface area. So if you want to stamp it and get a really crisp image, you can stamp it multiple times with the Stamparatus. Let's see if I can do it without. So let's pop him along here. I've got a hair on my dog. <laughs> and I hope it doesn't stamp the hair. It does a little bit oddly though. So I think that's a pretty good image, but you can see if I get close enough, it could be better. It's actually pretty good. Let's remove that hair. Thank you, that's my dog hair. Honestly, he's very generous all of the time. Right. So make sure it's really well inked. So I need two Scotty dogs. Just press it down really well. I'm very happy today. My son has had two weeks of mock GCSE examinations and they're very full on and he's had tonsillitis right in the middle of it. So I am really pleased that it's over at the end of today. Bless him. And he's, get, he's on the mend. He's on antibiotics and he's on the mend. So I'm very pleased about that. Bless his heart. So you can see there's a tiny little black patch in the middle of there. It's not as great as I would like. So I'm going to stamp it again. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to get my Stamparatus out. I'm hoping it'll be fine. So yeah, if you have Stamparatus, um, use it for your Scotty dog. If you don't have one, you need one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Right. Yes, I'm really happy it's the end of the week. Um, have you guys got anything nice planned for the weekend? I hope you have. Yes, that's so much better. Okay. Let's pop my memento to the side. I'm going to grab the punch now. <laughs> I really love this dog. I'm always sad that I've got to stop making Christmas cards because I really, really love this dog. So position the punch so that you've got it lined up. Always pop your punch upside down so that you can see through the hole and see what you're punching. Oh, hey, there it goes. And as you can see, there's a bow here. So that would be very useful for your stamp artist because you could measure, you could line up both your stamps in the right place, stamp your bow in the red or whatever color, stamp your dog, and then you've got it all punched out at once. No wasting paper and less work. All right. Woohoo! Two dogs. Lovely. And then I'm going to grab the bow stamp from the stamp set. Now there's a number of bows. There's this bow. This bow fits around his neck and then there's little bows that go around his collar and we're going to be using some of that as well. Let's grab the red. 
He is very cute, isn't he? Two bows. Right, let's punch these guys out. One bow. Whoa, <laughs> pieces flew across the room. And then another one. Well, hey. Right. Two bows and a load of bits and pieces. Let's move those. Okay, so we can start assembling our card. We, need, we have one more thing that we need. We need a strip of um, cardstock to put our sentiment on on the front. So I've got one for each card. Doesn't really matter how long because we're going to cut it down. But I've made it about three quarters of an inch wide each strip. And then we're going to stamp our uh, sentiment. But first of all, I think we'll start assembling our card. I do apologise. I'm going to have to lean to get my adhesive. I have a little tub for my adhesive. Somebody, I, somebody who's sewing and selling these things on a craft store. And I keep it on my desk and it's the handiest thing ever. And it's got all my adhesive in for when I'm crafting my desk. All the different things I might need. <laughs> Super useful. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to use though. Just stick my layers together. Because it's Friday and I don't trust myself. I'm going to use my Tombow. I love seal, it's been my adhesive of choice lately, but the Tombow really gives you wriggle room if you don't line it up correctly with the seal, it kind of sticks quite fast. So today, because it's Friday, oh my Tombow's bunged up. It's full, it's just bunged up. It doesn't want to come out. Is there anyone? Yeah. Another one here. Is there anything in this one? Oh yeah, this one's much happier. I think that one's nearly empty, the other one's not full. This is my full one. Okay, stick my layers together. As you can see, you can move it around with the Tombow and make sure you have that nice even border around the outside. It really helps you. <laughs> Glue it all together. So I've got a couple of extra cards now today. I thought I had enough. But you never need enough. You never have enough, do you? You always find that you need a couple of extra, so this is good. And sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'll go to a drawer and I'll find in my craft room a little stash of Christmas cards that I made the year before that I had a bit a couple of spare ones. And um yeah, then you're good to go with some extras. <laughs> has that happened to you? It has happened to me. Okay, let's pop the layers on. Easy as that. So pretty this paper. And it's still available. I could grab it in my online shop. I'll put the links in the description box below. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have got our two card bases ready to go. And I am going to put the red piece on this one because it's got a lot more green in it and I'm going to put the green piece on that one and I can't remember how I made this but I've got a vague feeling that I brought this one to the side I brought my Scotty dog over here on there and then my sentiment will go on here like so so yeah this is what we're going to go for now I'm going to put my um, stamped check piece flat 
you could pop it up on the foam pads if you want. I'm popping mine down flat. I'm going to pop the Scotty dog up on some foam pads. Yeah, they are great for batch making cards. These uh, note cards and envelopes and the Scotty is. One of my team members, she's been posting in our team group. She has been making batch making lots of different cards with lots of different sets, but she's done loads with the Scotty. And um, it looks amazing. What she's done is amazing. It looks fabulous. So there's no reason why you couldn't just do 10 of these and then put it all together and you've got 10 cards. So I'm doing it slightly over to the left. And that's all good. <laughs> He's quite cute looking. You know what I haven't done? I haven't stamped his collar. So it's going to be interesting trying to stamp that after the fact, isn't it? Now, I have made a bow. So I don't actually need to stamp his collar. I could have stamped his collar and brought the bow down slightly, but I might do that because that was my plan. And I'll just to prove you can do it. I've got the little collar stamp and the red, the brave. Link it up and just line it up. And there you go. That's not too bad, is it? <laughs> There's his collar. There we go. And then I'm going to pop his little bow on. Put a little bit of glue on there. And it can come just below his collar, and you can see his collar poking out. He's got a nice red festive collar. So our dog has a very festive bow that looks a lot like this. It's a Cut a gingham bow that my daughter brought home for him from for him the other day. Anyway, he had it on this morning and then it fell off. The little ta the little tie on it has come apart. <laughs> so I need to sew it back together. But he has some other little bows, Christmas bows as well. Can you believe how ridiculous we are putting a Christmas bow on the dog? But you know, <laughs> he's cute. He seems to like it. Very odd. You didn't think he'd care or notice, but he does seem to, and he seems to miss miss it when you take it off which is funny i don't think he's missed it once it's off just when you're taking it off so my sentiment is going to be may your days be furry and bright and i think i'm going to do them both in red for both the cards i think i think it would just work better so it's just, they're both straight. My glasses are making things look very skewed today. So I'm going to stamp it straight down. May your days be furry and bright. I love a pun. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other one. Well, I wonder what it would look like in the green. So may your days be furry and bright. Like that. I'm going to grab my stamping channels. I do apologise. I am going to give it a clean. Like that. And I'm going to just bring the green in. Have a go. Right. Garden green. There you go, that's really cute. Right, lid on the glue, lid on the ink pads before I stick my hands right in them. I will be using them again for the inside, but yes. Okay, so what we're going to do, put, put that one on there, and that one on there. I think the red one on this one. Red. I like the green on this one, so I think I'm going to put the red one on this one. So I've got one that I've already stamped out. Now, 
I don't know where my snips are because I've got a big pair of scissors here. So as you can see, I've got this piece of design, uh, piece of paper. I've stamped my uh, sentiment on it. I think what I'm going to do is just cut it at an angle. So where the corner is, you see, I'm just going to take it up the top like that. Very simple way to make a little sentiment panel. That one's going on there, I think. So this end that's hanging off needs to be the same height as the Scotty dog. So we'll put um, a dimensional or two on there. Two, I think, to keep it stuck up. Otherwise, it might just squish in the middle. And then a little bit of glue on the end. May your days, I want to sing the Christmas carol, but I don't. <laughs> may your days be furry and bright. You can bring it over as far as you want. And there you have him. Do the same on this one. This is, my scissors are very gluey. These are really old long handle scissors. And they're covered in glue. So yeah, just snip off the edge like that and then we'll do that the same I think this is a really cute card just a bit Christmassy you could send this kind of card to anybody that's what I think I like about it I think you know, when you want to send a card um, that has religious overtones, that's beautiful at Christmas. Sometimes you just want to send a Christmassy Christmas card to friends and neighbours and things. So, and you can send this to a, um, a man, a woman, a child. May your days be furry and bright. I love that. Now, I have picked out the Merry Christmas from the same stamp set. Really like this Merry Christmas. It's a lovely colour. A lovely colour? It's a lovely font. I can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. I was thinking, what colour? Right, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Right, so I'm going to put my Merry Christmas in there. Like that one. So I've done the front of that one, I've done the sentiment in red and the inside in green. So that it matches the front matches the the stamped gingham and this one I've done the front in green I'll do the inside in red Merry Christmas there we go so that's that now one more thing I wanted to do I picked out one of the other dogs from the stamp set, I picked out this guy. He's really cute. He looks like he's running about and playing, but you can sit him up and he looks like he's begging. I do not want another hair on my stamp. <laughs> oh, it's very ironic that this is a dog stamp and my dog has been shedding hairs. Let's grab my stamp cleaner. He's going for a haircut next week. I'll be very pleased. Okay. So ink it up really well with your memento. Make sure it's very well covered, as I say. And then I'm going to stamp him here. He looks a bit cheeky. I'm going to let it set a minute while I have a quick drink. Thank you, Chris. That's really kind of you. They are literally a bit of fun, a bit of Christmas cheer. Didn't he stamp well? Yay! Merry Christmas to you. And then, another one here. So I had a bit of a disaster this morning. It's going to take me a while to sort it out. It's not a proper disaster, like in the real sense of the word, at all. But I have all my Christmas cards made. And my address book has gone missing. 
yeah, I have an old fashioned address book for friends and family. I don't know about you guys. It's gone missing. I have turned my craft room inside out and I know that I keep it in here because I do send a lot of cards um, to my friends, when, you know, so I keep it all in the same place with my postage stamps and things like that. Oh no, so I'm going to have to do some, please can I have your addresses, things like that to my <laughs> friends and family. Oh, are you a bit sad you didn't get this bundle? I think it's still available. But you'd then probably be using it for next Christmas or just for some spares. But it's a fab bundle. I love it. And it's so easy to make with. So I have got some of these. These are the little rhinestone gems. Let me grab my take your pick tool. Ooh. There it is. Okay, and I'm going to pop a couple of these on just to make it a bit blingy. One there. Can't really see it. One there. there next to it can you see what I'm doing oh I think it stuck to me or oh, I might have left the adhesive on the sheet I think I did take another one and come back to that one so I've just got a few little gems on there I don't know if you can see that and I'll pop up a couple on here I'll probably put it on the green and that will make it a little bit easier to see yeah. <laughs> Guess who's coming in the room? This is what happens. Can you hear his feet? It's my dog. My not so small dog. There we go. So may your days be furry and bright. A little bit of gemstones with the real red ones. And that's those cards done. So I did take quite a bit of time. You could just really whip these out quite fast, um, very quickly, and very easy to make those fun cards there. Um, I've got another one to show you. This is an even quicker one. I'm gonna shut my door. I'm staying in here now, Alfie. Let's shut the door then. Okay, I um, sent out these little kits and I had an extra one. So my team, and they're very, very simple and very basic. And the idea was just so that we could get together. We could have our team meet up. I've got um, team spread across the country, so um, which is lovely. So um, we can't always do an in-person meet up, though I do those too. Um, but every month I do one on Zoom. And so I like to send a little kid a kit out sometimes, not every time but some of the time so that we can all have a bit of, um, we always do a make and take, but I don't always send, send a kit out. This time I did, and it's just a bit of fun. I often do. So I have used the Santa Express paper. I had a paper share that I ran when this catalogue launched, this one, the December catalogue, and I ha I kept a share for myself, which was great. I had a lot of 12 by 12 pieces of paper, so I've used up lots of mine in my Christmas cards. Um, so this is from the Santa Express pack and it's got this lovely reds and it's got, I don't know if that's mint, it's got some garden green. So I've got a regular C6 card base, which is, if you take a piece of A4 cardstock and score it in half at 10 and a half centimetres and then cut it at 14.8, you end up with two card bases. So one for now and one for later. Your issue is you want it all. Yes, I, I want it all too. <laughs> Everything in the catalogue, please. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a look. Hang on a minute. I've got to remember what bits what was last week. Is it last week or this week? What day are we on? It was this week. It was Wednesday. <laughs> oh dear, this is sad. It's only two days ago. 
Okay, that's uh, my inside. So that's half a centimetre smaller. So 10 centimetres by 14.3 centimetres in basic white card. And then I got a little panel for the middle. Can I remember how big it is? I will tell you. It's mm, eight, I would say 8.3 centimetres. That's an odd measurement. Maybe it's meant to be eight and a half. It's eight and a half by 11 and a half, that one. And then because I can't send stamped images in the post, but I can send, send um, die cuts and punches, I punched out the Scotty dog in black and sent them a Scotty dog. And then we have a piece of green and the green piece was two and a half by nine. Okay, so all I have to do with this piece is I'm going to run it through my embossing machine and I'm just going to choose an embossing folder. So I'll show you what I've got. I don't know the way Alfie is standing right in the way there, my love. Right, we have got, I use for my one that I made, I use the Fern 3D embossing folder. It's kind of, you can use this like Christmasy, can't you? Um, but I've also got the wintry 3D, which is lovely because that one comes with pine boughs and snowflakes. Now, where are my snowflakes? Hmm. It should be just there. Hmm. Mm. Oh, no, it's not there. I don't know. Anyway, so it comes with the snowflakes. It's on my machine. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, look inside. We've got a dimension. Oh, no, it's on the outside. A dimensional foam back. Don't they get everywhere? Let's put that away. Right, so this one has snowflakes. How beautiful is that? It's a skinny one, so it'll fit through the small, the mini boss machine. And this one has pine bows. And this little piece of cardstock will fit either perfectly. So I think I'm going to go for the snowflakes. It comes in a pack of two. It's called the Wintry 3D. So I'm going to pop it in. Like that. I'm going to run it through. You can see where your snowflakes will be. I'm going to pop that through now. This is also another very quick card to assemble, especially as I'm not stamping those dogs with this one. So we're going to take it out and see how that's worked. So it's hard to see the white on the camera, isn't it? Can you see that though? It's really deep. It's really beautiful. I love that one. So we're going to put that one on there. We are going to cover some of it up with the dog. Now, I decided to put a piece of green cardstock across the middle. And it, can't, it kind of coordinates with the designer series paper. I could have done this side, but then I think I would have needed a green card base. So we'll go with what we've got. So I would just have done it the other way around. I would have made this green and this red. So I'm going to pop him on here and him on here, like so. Now you could have your doggy, because you've punched it, you can have it any way you like, so I might do it that way. But So what I'm going to do first is start gluing my bits together. I'm getting really excited for Christmas, guys. Are you? Hi, Philomena. Oh, thank you for watching, my lovely. You're never late. Everyone's always on time here. We don't worry about things like that. Thank you for watching. Right, I'll show you what we've made in a minute. I'm on my last one. So this is a very quick card using the Scotty Punch that I made for my team. Little make and take packs for my Zoom. So that they can have a bit of Christmas fun when we met. They're such an inspiration, those ladies in my team. I love them to bits. And um, they're always making things and posting them in our team group. And they're so, they teach me loads. Okay, so here's the piece that I just embossed. I'm going to stick that on. I'm also going to use the Tombow for this because all those little ridges, it's really good. To, it'll grab in those. You want to get to the edge with the embossed piece, otherwise it kind of doesn't sit as flat. 
what's going to go on just in the middle. There we go, just let that set second. We're going to pop our green piece on. And then this looks like shaded spruce rather than garden green. I wonder if I've got the wrong colour. This is garden green. Ah, I think they're both in this. Should we have a look? No, there's no shaded spruce in it. So we need garden green. So we've got a piece here. We might as well use this piece. How funny that I have the wrong colour out. Maybe it was where I cut it from the last card, might have been, but I don't think so. I think I put it in the pack. Right, so let's see. I think it was, what did I say it was? This piece is two and a half by nine centimetres. So nine. Two and a half. It's almost there. just wanted it. Oh, I need a new blade on my trimmer, I think. I think I've been going for a couple of days, and I use it all the time, constantly. Okay, so that's going to go across the middle. Scotty's going to go on the top. And it's, I was going to raise the Scotty up, but instead of doing that, I think I'm just going to raise up the green piece. Where's my dimensional green pads that I had next to me? There they are. So I think I'm going to raise up the green piece, put like four on those. So any of you ladies do any other crafting? I've been busy trying to crochet myself some fingerless gloves. Hilarious because I'm absolutely great with crocheting. I love to crochet things like blankets and big granny square blankets or the granny stripes and all those kind of very simple very simple uh, stitches and I've been doing that forever. And then I thought, oh, I'll do, make a pair of fingerless gloves. No problem. So I got the right yarn. That's by a super big crochet hook. And then it said, work in the back of the stitches of the foundation chain. Yeah. That took me a long time to master. <laughs> so I've been very busy trying to make um, these fingerless gloves so I had a go at that last night and it took me quite a while but I think I've mastered it now it's like anything you know if you keep going at it unpicking redoing you'll get it right and I needed it to look neat so yeah I sometimes crochet that's one of the other things that I do right there's my Scotty so I have stuck the uh the green up on foam pads and there's my Scotty on the top and I've already stamped this one and do you remember on the last card, I beveled the edge with my scissors. I just cut it off like that. Well, on this piece, I've done it on both sides. So on this one, just on one side, but I've done it on both sides. And I've already stamped it. I think I already had it ready from my kit and I didn't really want to waste it. So that's going to go on there. It's going to go on flat. But before I do, uh, where are those little gems? So this is an idea of one of my lovely team the other night. So I sent them some little gems as well. And what she did was this. This is so cute. She made her dog a collar using the basic red rhinestone gems. I was so impressed I had to do it as well. It's so sweet. One more. I think we used four. When you've got it there, you can make it straight. That's not straight, but you see, I don't know what the light is like. Um, the light is a lot better. I've had new lighting put in my room this week. I'm very happy for that. Okay, so we've got our collar. How cute is that? <laughs> Such a simple idea. Love it. So may your days be furry and bright. So on the other end of that, where it's hanging over, I need to pop. Do I need to, no, I don't need to pop a dimensional because it will be flat because it's the green piece that's raised. Okay, but I could if I wanted. 
So I'm going to put some Tombow all over it in the middle. There we go. May your days be furry and bright. Now if you had some little snowflake sequins or any little snowflakey gems, that would be really perfect right now. I'm just going to add a few of these rhinestones to the card itself. Just trying to see where I put it. There we go. So that's the front of the card. Very quick and easy. And then we just need to do the inside. So I'm going to do the same thing again with stamping that Scotty because he's really cute, isn't he? Right. Oh, we can put, do his collar. I forgot to do his collar on the last one. And don't forget, when you're making your cards, to decorate your envelopes because, especially at Christmas, how nice is that to get something lovely through the post with a decorated envelope? Or pop some of our glittery washi tape on it or something like that. So there's the dog. Let him set a second. Grab the Merry Christmas. Grab the collar stamp. Oh, there's another little stamp I need to grab out too. Right, so there's his image. And real red. How are we doing? We've got 10 minutes left. I think we're going to be on time this week. Because I like to keep it to about an hour. Otherwise, <laughs> it just gets far too long for everyone. Right, here we go. Merry Christmas. Love it. Love it. <laughs> little things for these little minds, my mum tells me. <laughs> oh, you like the first card? Thank you, Philomena. And you like the Scotty dog? Oh, and you crochet as well. That's good. I bet you're absolutely brilliant at crochet. You can imagine. So I'll let you know how I get on with the fingerless gloves. Because obviously it should be the simplest thing in the world. And I don't have a problem with the you know, doing the single crochet, double crochet stitches and all of those things. It was just this, in the foundation chain, work through the back of the stitch, which is simple enough when you've already got a row, but in the foundation chain, and I happen to choose the fluffiest yarn that splits, that you can imagine, in all these really dark colours, and I'm crocheting in the evening and the light's not great. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a good thing, but um, I did have fun and I did master it. So I'm just picking out another one. What's that stamp for, I wonder? If anyone has the Scotty stamp, what is this stamp for that looks like an equal sign? This stamp here. What is that for? Must be something to do with his collar. No idea. I'm picking out another little tiny bow one. And I will show you what I'm doing. Ink it up. And he's going to have it on his collar. Look at that. He's all dressed up for Christmas. How cute he is. How cute he is. Love him. So fun to make. In. Okay. There you go. So there's our May Your Days Be Furry and Bright with a punched out Scotty dog. Um, so if you don't have the stamp set but you do have the punch, you could put a punch Scotty in, inside and use a different sentiment. But it's a bundle and it works really well together. So I think it's still available. It's in the last chance in the December to. Um, no, what was it called? The July to December mini catalogue, which is retiring at the end of the month. It's in the last chance promotion right now. So I'm hoping it's still in stock if you want to get it at all. Um, and this is this one. We forgot to do his collar. These are the ones that I sent out. Ooh, not clever. Uh, getting myself with red ink everywhere. I sent these cards out 
with all my customer packs. This month is a little Christmas card for the people that ordered with me um, this month. <laughs> I don't recommend you um, mounting your stamps like this. Just get another block out. I just don't want to have to lean across you again. But it does look super cute when you put his bow on. Look how super cute he looks. There we go. Let's do it this way around this time. And then we're done. Alfie, I hope you're not going to bark now. You've been such a good boy. The dog's in the craft room. And um, the craft room is right on the front of the house. So he sees if there's anybody walking by. And he has to warn everyone. <laughs> He's such a silly boy. Okay. Let's move that stamp so I don't lose it. Look at me. I just picked up my stamps and had it quite red. <laughs> Oh, not what you want. Okay, so there's Ella Scotty cards. Here we go. Um, and I have got five minutes left. Not that I need to use it, but I think I'm actually going to get that other block here. Let's see, put that block on there quickly. There we go. I'm going to use the Scotty and put them on the envelope. <laughs> so I think definitely if you have a stamparatus use it for the Scotty but you can do it if you make sure it's really well inked and press it well down you'll get a good image make sure the envelope is up the right way Make sure you leave enough room to write your name and address. So after the live, I'm off to get some lunch and find my address book. So I can send out my Christmas cards, guys. This is terrible. <laughs> Where is it? Where has it disappeared to? Oh, look, I've got a little splodgy bit at the bottom. He's got an extra part of his tail. I don't even see how that can have occurred. But doesn't matter, does it? It does not matter. You can tell it's just from the stamp. Okay. Red coming in. This stamp does not want to stick on the block. I think it needs a little wash. Probably where I've been pulling it off with my fingers. There we go, and the bone. Oh, this one as well. But then I was pulling that one off of my fingers as well, wasn't I? My own fault. And I have to say, I think I am complete with my Christmas cards. The challenge will now be to find my address book so that I can send them out to everyone. Okay. So there's our envelopes for our note card and envelope size cards. And we have got, may your days be furry and bright. Merry Christmas. And we've got real red and garden green. Same colorway with this one, but just we just we just changed it from green to red. And Merry Christmas inside. And this is the one that I made with my team the other night with the embossed layer. And he's got a sparkly collar. And then inside, Merry Christmas as well. And we have our envelopes. And I will, after the fact, I'll, I will decorate this envelope too. Because, because, we don't want any naked envelopes, do we guys? It's not what we're for. So I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of fun this morning. I love a Friday, uh, fun Friday live. 
I absolutely love it. It's the end of the week. We can all have fun, a bit of crafting together. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining me live. It really, really helps me no end. Um, thank you for your comments. If you're watching me uh, from the future or on replay, do say hello from Tomorrowland. Let me say goodbye to you properly. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, if you're watching me from the future, do say hello from Tomorrowland. Let me know where you're at. Let me know if you like my Scotty dog and you like the cards. I would really like to know. Um, and if you like any of the products that I've used, you can find them in my online shop at katebolt.stampingup.net. And I will be back on Tuesday for Coffee and Cards. And I look forward to seeing you then and see what we have to offer. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you've liked it. I really appreciate that. That helps me so much too. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, um, please subscribe and click that little bell down below for, for notification of future videos. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, you can you can set that little bell to, to pop up when I go live. Thank you, ladies. Oh, is it a buckle? You know, I don't know. Where would you put the buckle? This buckle here. Oh, hang on, you can't see it. Let's have a look. So this buckle here, does it go on his collar? I think it must. I think it must. Let me know. Um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you at Coffee and Cards. Have a fantastic weekend. Hope you're feeling festive. Bye-bye, ladies. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me.